Hey guys, this is Indium here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, right? So in the last episode, we got to Ari, we fed him his worms, caterpillars, what have you, and in this episode, we are going to progress on to um, the winter season, but there is just one thing we have left to do in the fall season, and that's to go to this room right on top of the tree and see what's inside, because uh, I don't know if there are any notes in there, and that's why I don't really want to pass up that room just in case that there are notes. Or if there's anything else that's worth picking up, like a honeycomb piece, there might be one of those up there, I don't know, but I hear a worm. However, ah, cool. Right. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm not going to bother getting that mumbo token because I don't think I have any gold feathers on me anyway. Alright, is there a honeycomb piece in here? Uh, well, there are no notes, that's for sure. Uh, there's another extra life up in the same place. I don't even know if that's worth getting, to be honest. <laughs> Screw it, I'm not going to bother with it. We've got plenty of extra lives, enough as it is, so I don't need to go collecting anymore. Right, I guess that's it for fall then. We're just going to fall down, hurt, no pun intended. Oh, dude! Ah, uh, falling. I was falling, now I'm in the water, and now I'm out of the water, and now we're going to... Yeah, I'm not going to bother collecting the notes, actually. Screw it. Um, because... Like, like I say, I'll get I'll get the notes that I can pick up, but notes that are in the Venus fly traps I'm not going to bother with because I don't want to because I don't have any gold feathers and stuff, and you know gold feathers are kind of hard to come by, and yeah, so we're going to head over to the winter season, which is the final season, and then we're pretty much done with this world, I think. Yeah. So then we can move on to the final part of the game. I did. Oh no, I hadn't hit the grunty switch yet because the grunty sh the grunty switch can be found in the winter season. Now, winter season is my second favorite because of the because of the way it looks and how easy and short it is. Like you don't have to do much in here. All you got to do is get the gin get the last Jinjo, feed Irie, and um, I think get the last two honeycomb pieces. Because, like I said in the last episode, I think the last two honeycomb pieces are in this season. Yeah, I want to get that <clears throat> gold feather. Yay. Alright, that's if we can actually get into Naughty's house, because I swear it's inside... Naughty, well, the, one of the honeycomb pieces is inside his house. I swear it is. But you have to... There should be a crack in the water somewhere further upstream. And then you gotta dive into it and quickly swim into his house. But the problem is with the icy water, you take damage in there, so it's gonna be kind of tricky. I, I I think you take damage or you just lose oxygen faster. I, I can't really remember what happens. Yeah, you do lose. You, yeah, you do lose oxygen faster in this cold water. Because I thought if you went in the cold water, you take damage. You know. Like you would if you were playing some game like Mario 64. Like if you go in the cold water in that game, you take damage. Right, so is it in here? Core, I don't usually get visitors in winter. Well, there you go. There's, a, there's one of them. See, I do remember there being one in here. So I'm pretty sure the other one is in the season as well somewhere. I th I'm pretty sure it's outside Nabnut's house. Um, in one of the rooms that you can get to only in the winter season. But we'll have to see when we get up there. Um, I forgot where the blue ginger is. It, m it might even be in Mumbo's hut. I'm honest, I honestly don't know. Because we haven't got a ginger in, the, in Mumbo's hut yet, I don't think. Well, considering we're right near it, we might as well go ahead and see if it is. Ah, I'm slipping. Can I talent trot this or? Of course I can talent trot it. That's child's play compared to the stuff we've been climbing in this game with a talent trot. And yeah, you can walk over the thorny, the thorny parts in this world because it's all frozen up, so you don't have to use the whittle waddle boots. The whittle waddle boots. Uh, well, there is a. Mumbo's on vacation, you hairy fool. Come back in spring. Well, that's odd. A honeycomb sta or uh, yeah, a honeycomb stack is actually talking to us. That's oddly bizarre. I swear I saw notes in here as well. 
And when I walked in, I swear I did. Unless I was being crazy, which is a possibility. Yeah, it's, there's nothing in here. What the hell? Well, screw you then. Well, that'll be a good place to restock on health if we need to. Just go to Mumbo's hut and get your health back. Mumbo's hut looks like the skull in uh, Doctor Wy on the on Doctor Wily's castle in the f second in the second Mega Man game. That's what I just noticed. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Looking at Mumbo's skull there. Damn it. Damn it. What the heck? Okay, calm down, Ice Cube. Oh my God. How much? How much times do I get hit by that thing? Jeez. You need to calm down your rockers. Calm down your rockers. Alright, so let's take the flight pad and fly away. Let's fly, let's fly away. Oh god. Ugh. Get out of my face. Well, there's a mumbo token there. I'll pick that up once I've done with these snowmen. Because I'm pretty sure if you kill one of the snowmen, it reveals the grunty switch. But I think it's the one on the wooden stump where near where Naughty's house is. How did that not hit you? How did that not hit you? What the heck? Hmm. I must have had the wrong altitude. Ah, uh, still had the wrong altitude. Uh, well, oh, oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. It's on top of his hut. Oh, right, okay. Well, uh, I did say it was near, well, I did say it was inside Mumbo's hut, but I wasn't far from right. So that's nine jiggies. Yeah, I wasn't far off. I did, I did say it was near Mumbo's hut. Well, inside it, but you know what I mean. Like, technically, it was near it. Can I fly? I was pressing the wrong button. I was pressing the attack button. Because you have to press the attack button to do the dive bomb, and that's what I've been doing a lot while flying. So ever since I've took flight in this world, I've been using that same attack. And where, where is that coming from? Is it coming up? Alright, oh, it's coming from up here. I think. I know you don't get a jiggy for killing these, but... Ugh. Oh, well, your aim was very off there, dude. Ha ha ha. Shut up, Jack Frost. What the heck? Dude. Get your aim right. Oh, that totally hit that then. What? Okay, how are you screwing this up so badly? Oh my god, there's two of them? There's another one right there. Ugh. How many of these things are there to kill in this? There's more of these than what there were in Freeze Easy Peak, and that was an actual snow world. Whereas this is just like a mixture of worlds in one whole world. It's a tiny, tiny world. It's a tiny, tiny world. Alright, so there's the grunty switch and makes the jiggy appear right outside of wall 9 so we don't have to go anywhere else in the castle to get it. Practically straight, practically straight outside the world. All you got to do is find a flight pad, I think, and then take flight. Get it like that. Alright, I don't think I'm going to bother with that one because I know you don't get a jiggy for... At least I don't think you do. Because I'm not sure what Irie's doing in this season. I, I remember giving him worms in the season, but I know that they're hard to find. Because uh, Irie hasn't actually said anything, has he? He hasn't said, you know, that he wants a certain amount of worms. Because if you enter a season, he'll say, oh, I want X amount of worms, and you'll go and find all these worms for him. But he hasn't done that in this season, so I don't know what's up with him. Uh, maybe he's sleeping, but he grows when you go and see him. I can't remember. Well, that was kind of pointless, but can I still get up? Uh, I don't want to fall down here, guys. I really don't. Well, as soon as we got our last jiggy, that's it. We're home free. We're done with this world, which means we can leave. Alright, let's try and get this correct. Yeah, considering the platforms are slippery, it doesn't help much with your jump because that's going to disorientate it and you're going to end up losing your men momentum if you don't actually time it right. Oh, dude, you almost slipped off the side. 
It might even be easier in winter, I don't know. No, it's not. It's just as hard. Crap. Well, you know what? I can just use the flight pad and get up there. <laughs> Why aren't I doing that? Why am I just climbing up the tree when I could easily just take flight and go up like that? You know what? That's a very good idea. Uh, we got the flight pad. We might as well use it to our advantage. Whereas in the spring season, you don't, so you have to climb. Well, actually, no, you don't. You could use the uh, bumblebee, but if there are stuff you have to do as banjo, then yeah, you will have to climb it. Because there are no flight pads in the spring season, and there are no... F well, actually, there are no flight pads in any of the seasons, to be honest with you. The only season that really has a flight pad is this one, so... Yeah, no cheating in any other season, apart from this one. Right, that's... I hate Irie. He's like moaning, not sexual moan, but you know, <laughs> nothing sexual going on here, guys. All oh, right, the house is actually all boarded up in this season. I forgot about that actually. All right, I, I'm pretty sure the final honeycomb piece is in here, where we got our acorn from. Is it in here? Let me have a look. No. It's not in here, what? Well, that's strange. Hmm. Well, there was another window we could break open, but... I don't know how you're going to break that one open, because there's nothing getting to... Oh, no, wait! I remember, I remember, I remember! Ugh. Yeah, it's this window right here. You have to break open, I think, and... It lets you inside, and... Is this where it is? Final honeycomb piece. <laughs> hmm, acorns. He's dreaming about acorns. He's not dreaming about donuts, guys. He's dream he's dreaming about acorns instead. All right. Well, I have no idea where this last honeycomb piece is then, because I thought it was in that window up there, and I thought there was a window that was snowed in, and you had to walk up the snow and break it open like that, but. No, that doesn't seem to be the correct way of getting... Well, hang on a second, there's a flight pad right here. And I can try and break open that window that's sticking out of um, at his house. Because there is a window that looks quite breakable. And... Yeah, it does, look at that. Okay, let's try and get in there then. Can I fly into it? Ah, uh, it'd be easier if I just take the flight pad again. Oh! Oh, no, 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 don't... Whatever you do, don't fall off now. Um, you know what? Screw it. Just use a talent shot. Yeah, you, you don't have to jump up there and screw yourself over. Just use the talent shot. Uh, this guy might screw me over, I don't know. No, he didn't. Turn the camera around and try and get inside the window. You don't have to use any red feathers here. You can just... Because it's lower than what you are. So you can just fly straight into it. Alright, it is in here. I know it is. So come on, honeycomb piece. Reveal yourself. So then you can clear my doubts. Yeah, I see it. Right on the top right hand corner of the screen. There we go, that's the final honeycomb piece in the game, which gives us a full total of energy. So, that's basically it. We've got all the honeycomb pieces in the game, guys. So technically, in a way, we have basically 100% of it once we've got these last two jiggies, and then we're done. Got basically 100%ed. I don't really count 100% in this game by, you know, collecting all Mumbo tokens by collecting all the notes and stuff. I don't really count that as a 100% because notes aren't really essential. Like, the most essential things are is the, uh... Irie might Mighty Eagle at last. Watch me as I fly into the sky. He's going to take flight! This giant eagle is going to fly away and he's going to fart in our faces and we are going to die! Oh, wait. I have- yeah, he actually did fart! <laughs> he farted in our faces, dude! God, you stink! Alright, so let's get our 
final jiggy and have done with it. Woohoo! Yay! Victory dance! Get down, get funky. Right, okay, so we can leave now. Uh, I don't really care if I die, so I'm just gonna fall. Take the damage. We Well, no, I want the gold feather. <laughs> uh, do you realize how lucky it was I landed on that branch just then? See how thin that thing was? Jeez. Alright. So, I guess I could use one red feather. I don't know how you're gonna get that honeycomb, no, that, um, honeycomb piece, no, that jiggy in Grunty's Lair, the final Grunty switch jiggy in the game. I don't know how you're gonna get that. Because I don't know if there's a flight pad or if there's a specific way of getting to it. Like, trying to navigate through the castle to get to it in a certain way, I don't know. <laughs> But we'll have to find that out in the next episode because I need to end it off here because there's not going to be much we can do anyway. Um, so in the next episode, let's play Banjo Kazooie. I guess we collect our final jiggy inside what well, inside Grunty's lair, and then we'll make way for the final boss, I guess. <laughs> so until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you in the next video, and goodbye.